Okay, good morning, good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm Robert, I am the uh, training specialist here with the NatGen team and AHCP. I just wanted to welcome everybody to this morning's Motivation Monday. I uh, don't know if you joined me last week, but uh, this week is the second week back after the new year. So we've got a lot of new things in store as the weeks go on. And I'm really excited to be part of this with y'all. And I'm excited to roll out some of these changes as the weeks go on. Um, what we're gonna be doing here today is just gonna be going over a real quick recap of what we talked about last week as far as some of the changes are concerned. but. You're going to actually get to see some uh, really good uh, examples of that today because one of the big changes that we've made, and without uh, tooting my own here, horn here and getting too far ahead of the of the game, is that we've actually really kind of simplified the process and really going to provide you with things that you want to see, things that you want to hear. Uh, a lot of that being a lot of your most uh, important reminders of the week and your updates, things that you can really use and, and use as the week go on. So I, I actually welcome you to Motivation Monday. Again, this is Robert. Um, just so that everybody knows, I do have everybody on mute. Uh, if you do have a question or if you run into any sort of uh, technical trouble, which I don't foresee, but if you do, go ahead and utilize the questions box or uh, go ahead and raise your hand or uh, ping me whatever you need to do chat me I'm monitoring all aspects of, of the webinar broadcast so whichever way you'd like to reach out to me I am good with I will mute my phone though so anybody that has my phone you know, if you want to call me I'm gonna put that to the side of course but you know don't uh, don't feel left out if that is the way that you uh, have used to contact me in the past so again good morning welcome everybody to motivation Monday one of the things that we've been doing in the past is we've always had a weekly quote or two. One of the quotes that I utilized last week is because our main point of last week was change. And really the main quote of last week was to say that not, there's nothing permanent except change. And that's actually something that is a really prominent quote that's going to be really focused on heavily um, as the weeks go on. And it's just something to, to keep out there so that everybody understands, you know, they, just because we're seeing some changes the week go on, you know, nothing to fret about. It's actually going to be some really, really good stuff that we're starting to roll out and uh, really implement here for every Monday morning's meeting. So with that said, we will pop into uh, today's PowerPoint presentation. we got a lot of really good information to go over today. So as I've been stating in the past, we've got a Motivation Monday 2.0, really, in a way, if this is what you can look at this as. Um, what we did at the end of 2018, uh, right before the holiday break and the New Year break, we kind of sent out a couple different polls. Uh, if you do have those polls in your inbox still, which if you take a look, it'll be coming from training um, at AHCP sales. So the training box will actually be monitoring this as the year goes on. Now, at the end of each broadcast, you are gonna get a follow-up session, survey, uh, survey session, either way you wanna put that, that you can answer as well. But we're going to keep that main primary survey open. So if you do happen to have that in your inbox, you can actually respond to that as many times as you want with as many comments, as much feedback as you'd like to provide as the weeks go on. I encourage you to do that. Um, the, the feedback and the information that is given to me and to our training team here is invaluable. Uh, just the just some pure simple things even, for example, like you've noticed that we've changed the time to 10 o'clock. This is actually something that uh, really everybody kind of had a consensus on. I mean, there were some things that were kind of different days, of course, but you know, that would really kind of defeat the purpose of it being a Motivation Monday. But with that said, we really want to kind of land on a time that's really convenient for everybody. That's not really going to be that first thing in the day. You know, if you have those meetings first thing in the morning, we can get those out of the way or, you know, we can kind of just set this as a permanent time frame on the calendar. So I, I really hope that you can continue to join us every Monday because as the changes go on, you're going to see a lot more excitement build with this. You're going to see some new marketing and some new announcements come out in your email. So take a look at that as well, too, and keep your eyes open for that as the weeks go on. So what we're gonna do here today is we're gonna really kind of start with a real quick agenda, what we got on deck. We're going to just, again, like I said, we're gonna touch briefly on what's new with the whole Motivation Monday process. And now there's not 
going to be a huge change to the overall flow that you'll see. But some of the other things that we're going to be doing and actually diving deeper into are things like your weekly updates and your reminders. Uh, some of the feedback that I got on this was, like I said, it, it was invaluable. And I fully agree that things like updates, reminders, uh, current promotions, uh, you know, those tidbits that you might have just scanned really quickly during the week in the email, we're going to kind of highlight those and pick and choose the ones that are the most important as the weeks go on and then utilize those in the update and reminder section. So in the past, that update and reminder section was really small. It was really just kind of briefly touched on. We're actually going to enhance that section and allow a lot more pertinent information to be shared during that period. Uh, we will still briefly touch on the sales leaders and give out some kudos and some shout outs to our sales leaders because I do think it's important to recognize those sales leaders and just the sales in general because you know, and you'll see this in a moment as the end of 2018 wrapped up with the end of the AEP, with even with the end of the OEP for the Medicare season, and then Medicare's new open enrollment season that we have that's ongoing right now, you guys are out there killing it. And I, I just really couldn't completely drop that part out. Um, I, I really, really enjoy giving kudos to people and just really kind of highlighting those sales leaders. And then we are going to follow up at the end of each session with a real quick sales technique or, or a tip of the week. Um, this week's is going to be a little bit shorter. It's going to be something that you're really already aware of as far as the Medicare open enrollment season. And the main reason for that is because of the fact that the update and reminder section has got a really jam-packed lot of information this week. Um, I want to be able to give a, a time to have that, but still not keep you too long and allow you to continue to go about your day. But you know, of course, leave entirely motivated as Monday goes on. So with that said, let's pop into really quickly what's going to be new as Motivation Monday weeks progress. So as I mentioned, you know, we did do a survey at the end of 2018. And again, that survey really provided me with just some invaluable feedback. Really what you wanted to see is really just kind of a clean format, just something that's going to highlight specifically trends and things that are in demand right now that you can actually use at the present moment. Not to say that our our uh, learning sessions and our techniques of the week weren't really in demand, but I'm really going to be going off the feedback that you are going to be providing me that's going to kind of lead this. Now, as the seasons go on, you know, there are certain periods of the year. Let's, you know, utilize the AEP season for Medicare, for example. And then after that, we roll into the open enrollment season for the ACA. Now, it, it, with that aspect, some of those sales techniques and some of those lessons are really going to kind of focus on what's pertinent in the market at that time. And that's fine. But um, between those weeks, we're going to really kind of provide you guys with some really invaluable information and some fun information at that as well, too. Like I mentioned before, ongoing feedback is entirely needed. We want to continue to get that feedback as the weeks go on. At the end of each webinar, you're going to get a follow-up email probably in a couple hours after the webinar ends. If you want to provide a survey feedback, you can. You don't have to by any means. Again, if you look back in your emails, I might even um, see if I can work with the marketing team to have that original survey uh, sent out so that you can kind of flag that and highlight it in your inbox. And, you know, if you ever have any feedback to provide us, you can do it that way. You can always reach out to us at training at ahcpsales.com as well, too. That's our direct email box that I'm monitoring and our training team monitors. So, you know, we're going to constantly be looking for you to kind of lead and guide this because I want to do and I want to teach what you want to hear. We're a team and I'm really wanting to be a part of the fact of doing something that you guys want to hear and really want to learn about. So. Like I mentioned, you know, a lot of those in-demand sales techniques and tips are going to be what we're going to be focusing on. And as the weeks go on, as the original quote of the day, as far as change is concerned, kind of alluded to, there are more changes to come as the weeks go on. So the format in general is kind of the same, but the look and the feel and really the engagement of the entire process is going to be what's changing to really kind of grasp your attention and keep everybody motivated as the week goes, weeks go on. So... Well, with that said, we're going to jump into this week's updates and reminders. As I mentioned, we have a lot of these this week, and this is really going to be an area that I'm going to be focusing heavily on. And I, I do this for multiple reasons. One of the main reasons why is that I don't know about you, but I do read my emails. I read every email I get, but you know, sometimes it takes a second reminder for me to see that email. Be like, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, that meds up, uh, you know, it added four more states. But so with that said, we're going to utilize this section to really kind of 
just give that reminder and really kind of just flag it in the brain to let you know that, hey, this is out there. These are the important things for the week. Make sure that you keep an eye on this. And then, you know, just kind of utilizing this as a springboard for the remainder of the week. With that said, there we go. Introducing four new states. So the NatGen Medicare supplement that we have that's out in the market right now, we are continually improving and we're continually adding states into. So next week, we're actually going to be turning on four more states for the Medicare supplement insurance sales, which is going to bring us right now to a total of 27 states. The additional four states that we're going to be activating is going to be Kansas, Montana, South Dakota, and Tennessee. So quoting and sales for these states is going to be available tomorrow, the 15th, for a February 1st and later effective start dates. So keep that in mind. That's going to be effective and available as of tomorrow, January 15th, for a 2-1 uh, and later effective start date. Uh, also available tomorrow, if you hit, out, hit up the NGIH, uh, NGIC.com site under that agent portal, the new brochures are going to be available on the quoting site as well. So a new Medicare supplement drop down actually was added in there. Uh, so you can actually go into there, into the agent page. There's actually going to be a brand new Medicare supplement drop down that you can utilize that's going to have all that agent information there. It's really going to just simplify access to all the brochures. Um, South Dakota is going to continue to use the generic brochure. But Kansas, Montana, and Tennessee are all state specific. Uh, we are going to notify everybody of the new available in these states tomorrow again with another email blast that goes out. But just as a reminder, we got these four new states that are going to be rolling out. So with that said, though, really good reason to throw out the Cabo trip, right? So we still have the availability of selling the NatGen Medicare supplement. We really want you to make the most out of those sales. So there is a bonus campaign that's going on right now to earn yourself a trip to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. I don't know about you, but right now it was 35 degrees this morning and I would love to go to Cabo today, tomorrow. I don't care if it's in the middle of summer. I'm just, I'm going to be there. I'll be happy to be there. So, you know, with these bonuses, they have some easy to use online tools. There's a support line of sales experts on the NatGen agent side. So what you can really do here is if you actually sell 100 NatGen MedSup policies, they're going to send you to Cabo. 100, right? I know a lot of other agencies out there that are killing this easily. I know that there's a lot of people that are close to this that have not already either they have already gotten there or they're really, really super close to actually already making this. So all you really want to do is get out there, sell, push 100 of these NatGen med sub policies. They're going to send you to Cabo. Now, there's an incentive to this. If you sell 150, they're going to send you and a guest to Cabo. I don't know about you, but if I went to Cabo by myself, my wife would probably be a little bit upset. So, you know, I'd probably try and push a little bit so that I can get the 150. But with that said, whether you go with someone or not, it's an amazing trip regardless. Now, if you are the top selling writing agent overall, they're going to send you and a guest and upgrade to a private suite. So that right there is the creme de la creme of that Cabo trip. I mean, I don't see any reason why somebody from AACP could not easily take care of that top selling writing agent spot overall. With that said, next. So want to remind you, AACP rolled out the newsstand this year. There's actually going to be a monthly newsletter that's going to be available to you to read on the AACP sales site. Uh, there's basically a brand new and improved AACP lead portal that it talks about. It talks about product updates. There's a featured product, a featured carrier. It goes over the sales incentives, a couple that we'll highlight each week. There's going to be an interactive map, uh, which we'll talk about in a second here, but really just kind of keep a, aware out there that there's going to be this new stand, this really kind of monthly newsletter uh, that's going to be available for you. So what you really want to do is we're really kind of committed to your success, and we really want to utilize this as a way to assist you in any way that we can. One of those things that was highlighted within the newsstand was that interactive map. Now, this is something that I refer agents to on uh, sometimes multiple times per day, just really being able to utilize an interactive map to be able to see a state-specific brochure, a state-specific product line. This way, you can really kind of search those states where you're already licensed and find out what's available. Uh, it's just a click of the mouse, click on the state, and bam, you've got those brochures, you've got those products availability, and then that helps you take care of the clients in your market a lot easier. So that's a really, really good thing that's actually available to use as far as a tool that you can utilize in your overall arsenal. Now, Something else we wanted to highlight this week is there is a training webinar that Colorado Bankers Life is going to be doing. So there's a critical illness insurance New Year giveaway. Now, the training webinar is January 23rd, 2019 at 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time to 7 o'clock. Um, I'm sorry, 10 o'clock 
a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So again, that's January 23rd, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 o'clock West Coast Time. So there's going to be a Timber Ridge Series training webinar that's really, now that open enrollment's over, they really wanted you to take the time to reach out to your clients and kind of take a look at uh, their critical illness products from Colorado Bankers. They're, what they're doing is they're going to be giving away two to me travel drop kits. So from February 1st through March 31st, for every submitted application, it's going to basically be counting as one contest entry. So every CI that you enter in is going to be added into their contest as a individual contest entry. The more that you sell, the more entries you get, and then the greater your chances of winning. So what you want to do is go through your email. It's actually going to be on the AHCP sales site as well, but make sure to go through your email. There was an email blast that went out about this. There is an opportunity for you to go in there and register for the webinar series that you can join them on the 23rd. And of course, if you have any questions on this, you can always give contracting here a call at contracting at AHCPsales.com. Uh, the number is listed there as well for you too. Now, one additional thing that we're going to take a look at here in this week's updates and reminders is another NatGen product that we've actually enhanced some really amazing updates to. So if you give me a moment here, I'm going to actually swap on over to that actual product and we will go ahead and drop through this real quick. So. What this is, is the National General Foundation Health Enhanced Plan. Um, really, it's kind of the foundational health enhanced training brochure that I'm gonna kind of identify for you right now. And what's nice about it is there is a brand new product design. They have some really amazing benefits in this plan. So what's nice about it and why a fixed benefit indemnity plan, you're gonna actually see that right now. So overall, we're gonna kind of really kind of look at some of the plan designs and how it works. You know, what's nice about this is that the product was already amazing and now it's just really been enhanced in 16 states. It's gonna go live on January 17th, so three days from now. So on 17th of January, this is actually gonna go live with the additional features that we're gonna talk about here. But for example, a lot of lower prices are gonna be going into effect. For example, like the ages of 18 to 2019, age there's a price reduction of almost 60% between that younger age range of 18 to 29. When I when I did the math on some of those, on the changes and the discounts that are gonna be giving now, it's just some amazing changes and some really good updates that are being rolled out all around. So we're gonna actually kind of really take a look at what states it's available in and the eligibility behind the plans. And of course, again, like I said, lower prices overall. So what's nice about this is that basically everything has been doubled more or less. Doctor visits previously were at two visits. So what they're actually doing is they're actually doubling the total doctor office visits for the year, right? So in the levels A, B, and C, you've got four days per year for doctor's office visits now and then at that fixed level rate per day. They're preventative, brand new category, fully newly added preventative category. So there's basically a fixed rate of $50 a day, one day per year, ABC, if you take a look at the three different tier levels there. Diagnostic testing basically has been doubled. It was previously 100, 200, 300. It's now gone 200, 400, 500 amazing increases in these benefits. So overall, the plan had already been outstanding to begin with. Now that they've actually increased the individual level amounts, I think this is just going to knock it out of the park. Something else I wanted to highlight here, a brand new ICU benefit. So this is something that actually wasn't there before, but this is something that you can actually look at now and that's been added on as $1,000 per day up to 30 days per year or 2,000 or 3,000 depending upon the level that you're in. So uh, an amazing deal already with that. One thing to keep note though, that the benefits not applied on top of the confinement benefit. So for example, the confinement benefit or will run separately from the ICU. If you have questions on that, definitely feel free to reach out to contracting, reach out to me here at training. We can always uh, you know, go over those questions that you might have because it can get a little confusing at times, but just the basic simple facts, they cannot run concurrently. ICU will be used generally probably before the confinement and then confinement is gonna require a stay for more than 24 hours, usually which is after that ICU period. There are certain small caveats to that, but generally speaking, just they cannot run concurrently. So something else I wanted to highlight again, skilled nursing, level B, level C, 500 per day, 30 days per year and 1000 per day on level C. So that was brand new, newly added as well too. So some really, really good things being added overall to this fixed indemnity plan. It, the, the foundation health plan and the enhanced plan, it was already amazing. And now it's just something that's actually gonna be kicking, kicking it out of the park. So some real quick sample rates, 
that we're looking at here. Just wanted to throw these up real quick. If you take a look at anywhere from the individual up to the two parent family, level A, B, and C. And then we had a little sample rate for the primary range of about 50 to 54. These are the two real age ranges that, you know, I kind of tend to work with a lot. You're going to either get that earlier millennial or that later um, age group of the 50 to 54. But of course, if you do want to take a look at the entire rate chart, those are available online for you in the plan brochures and the rate chart brochure as well too. And you can always reach out to us as well and we can answer that. And then last but not least, we wanted to just really quickly highlight the states that we have on here. Again, we have 16 states in total. Real quick state availability listing there. So this is going to be something to keep in your arsenal in the back yeah, in the back pocket of something that's a really, really amazing plan that NatGen has out there. NatGen's out there killing it with a lot of their plans. And right now, with just the increases that they're doing with this and some of the changes to come that they're going to be rolling out to the market, uh, in my personal opinion, you know, and I don't want to be biased, of course, in any way, I love their plans. It's some really, really good materials out there. So let me go ahead and uh, pop back over to our uh, our main slideshow here real quick. And we will then jump back into the remaining part of the day. So like I've mentioned, what we're going to actually be doing here is a lot of the stuff that we're going to be going over from Motivation Monday is really going to kind of highlight a lot of, you know, our overall desires and things that we really want to see on a daily basis. So, and with that said, you know, we really kind of want to also look at a lot of the different opportunities for updates that not only are going to be coming out via email, but updates that are going to be coming out um, on the AHCP site as well. And like I mentioned, you know, they've got that newsletter out there. They have just a ton of stuff that's going to be out there for you to look through. So as I unfortunately, you know, deal with my wonderful PowerPoint here, we'll get uh, past all of the updates and the surveys and wonderful stuff like that and the reminders will pop back into right after the update as far as the nat gen plan that we just went over of course remember we got that critical illness insurance plan giveaway that's going on one of the last things i wanted to remind of and just to kind of highlight again is that even though they have this brand new newsletter out and the new standout that's out there, there is an amazing area on the HCP sales site under the blog tab. If you take a look at that, there is a ton of good articles on there that you can actually continue to not only necessarily further your knowledge, but just really pertinent things that are happening in the market today. So I wanted to just quickly, again, I did this last week too, but I wanted to remind you that this is an area that you know, not a lot of people know about, and it's not widely un understood what's in there, but really just a lot of amazing materials under this blog area to take a look at. If you have five minutes, check out two or three of the articles each day or each one time a week, even if you have the availability to do so. And then lastly, on, on our updates area here, again, we have access to an entire training library under the training tab on the HCP sales site. So if you take a look at that training tab, you'll be able to see any of the upcoming live trainings, including the Monday Motivation, and then of course that Colorado Bankers one that's gonna be up there on the, uh, I think it was the 29th or 23rd is where it's listed there. But in any regard, the calendar that's listed here is gonna be updated on a daily basis to ensure that if you have a training that you wanna attend, find it, register for it, and then go away. And you'll have an amazing time. So real quickly, Sales leaders and kudos for the day. Let's take a look and see where we're standing for last week. Now, keep in mind that this actually isn't really technically last week. This is really gonna be the very last day of January, which is around the 31st of January through I believe the 7th, I'm sorry, 31st of December of 2018 through the 7th of January, 2019. So not really fully last week, but um, close enough. We're usually about a week's delay with the way that the statistics and the numbers come out. So with that said, on the accident front, NHIC, like I mentioned before, NHIC is out there killing it. NHIC and Golden Rule are at the top of the pack there for those accident plans. On the limited med side, NHIC, uh, no wonder, no surprise there as well either. Same thing on short-term med and Golden Rule as well for short-term med. Now on the Medicare side, really the three top carriers that are out there right now, Aetna, UHC, and Humana, they're doing an amazing amount of business. So for any of you Medicare folks that are out there that are selling Medicare, whether it be for the open enrollment season previously or this Medicare Advantage open enrollment season that we're in right now, those three are the top three. There are a few other carriers out there. And if you want some more information on that and what those popular ones are that you might want to look at um, uh, referencing if they're considering doing a change when it's upcoming here, let me know. I'd be glad to help you work through that. 
and then golden rule on top of dental. Now, sales leaders, again, a week of 1231 through 17. Accident side, we have Jacob Gordon, Kendra Franklin, and Terrence Hippenhagen. Apologize, Terrence, if I pronounced that wrong. Limited med side, we got Kent Kurtwood, Rhonda Helton, Aaron Ellison. And for short-term med, Evan, Mark Hager, and Kimberly Lucart. Outstanding job, you guys. The numbers that I'm seeing that are being put up on the board right now, especially because this is the end of December 1231 through the beginning of January, just some amazing big, big numbers. Now, last but not least, and this is because it's my kind of uh, cup of tea here that I specifically tend to train on on the Medicare front, we have Maureen McNally, Heather Woodruff, and Jenny Borrell. You guys are out there doing an amazing amount of business. Now, I don't know if there's any individuals that have thought about doing Medicare in the past, but Medicare is blowing up. There have been increases this year anywhere from two to three to 500% from previous year sales. So if this isn't an area that you've already considered looking into, you might wanna really strongly consider doing this in 2020. Um, again, we're in an open enrollment season right now, which is what the sales technique is going to be that we're going to discuss here in a moment. But if you wanna take a look at Medicare, it's really going to be an amazing opportunity as the months and the years go on. Don't really know how the market's gonna go, if there's gonna be something that's extended for Medicare for all, which would be amazing. That would be an outstanding sales opportunity. But I'm telling you right now that the Medicare field is booming and there is a lot of money being left on the table right now. So if you have any questions on it, ask your leader, ask contracting, ask licensing, ask training, ask anybody. We can get you rolling with it and tell you what you need to do. So last but not least, again, real quick sales technique for the day. And the sales technique is really gonna focus on that Medicare Advantage open enrollment period. So what I really would like you to know for this open enrollment period is that it's extending from January 1st to March 31st. This was previously considered the Medicare Advantage disenrollment period. So it was really kind of allowed you an opportunity to disenroll. They kind of just change, uh, CMS tends to make changes every year, and they really just change the verbiage and the wording of this to make it an additional Medicare Advantage open enrollment period. So what you can really do is the federal government kind of, pre they existed at the disenrollment verbiage, and they replaced it with this MAOEP period. So the, this period is actually going to allow you anybody, of course, and there's the caveat to this, anyone that's already enrolled in a Medicare Advantage or a Medicare Part D plan, including individuals who were newly Medicare Advantage eligible, they can make a one-time election to that to go to another Medicare Advantage plan, or if they don't like Medicare Advantage and they wanted to go back to original Medicare, they can do so. And with that said, this is exactly the do's and the don'ts of it. So what changes are allowed during the season? You, like I said, you can actually do a Medicare Advantage only to a Medicare Advantage only plan. Same thing, you can go Medicare Advantage only to Medicare Part D, Medicare Part D to Medicare Advantage only, or Medicare MAPD to MAPD. However, the other caveat to this is you can actually go to a Medicare Advantage to Medicare Original. You can actually switch back to Original Medicare if you don't wanna stay in the Advantage field. Now, you can actually, some of the important things to remember is the marketing aspects of this as the weeks roll on. What you can do is you can send marketing materials when a beneficiary makes a proactive request, but you cannot send an unsolicited material or advertising or referencing the OEP opportunity. So you can't just say, hey, there's this opportunity. And you can't send that to them unsolicited. But if they do make a proactive request to you, you can then send the marketing materials at that point. Again, at the beneficiary's request, you can also have a one-on-one -on -one meeting but you cannot specifically target beneficiaries who are in the OEP by, for example, purchasing mailing lists or other means of identification. Um, you can't really engage or promote or in or promoting activities that are intended to target OEP for further sales. So really what it is is that the individual or the beneficiary has to come to you. And lastly, you, you're not able to call or otherwise contact former enrollees who have selected a new plan during AEP. So, the main thing to remember on this as far as what's permitted as far as marketing is the beneficiary does have to proactively contact you. If they request it, you can then set up a one-on-one -on -one meeting. Um, at their request, you can provide them information on what the OEP entails. Um, you can target age ins, duals, and LIS beneficiaries. That's the small caveat to that as far as individuals in this aspect. You can target age ins, duals, and uh, low-income subsidy beneficiaries. And then, of course, you can still stay in touch with your existing customers. So keep that in mind. We are currently in a Medicare Advantage open enrollment period. If you are licensed, if you're AHIP certed and you're out there and you're actively selling, 
Make sure that you're utilizing this. Make sure, of course, that you're following CMS's marketing guidelines during this OEP so that um, we don't have a different conversation if, for example, a marketing uh, complaint is filed. Not anything to worry about anyhow, though. You guys are out there killing it in the Medicare field. A lot of money being made this year. It's just outstanding. It's making me quite jealous, to be honest with you. So with that said, that's it for the day. If you have any questions for me, if you have any feedback for us, you can always reach out to us at training at hcpsales.com, or you can call our amazing people upstairs at 877-228-8773. Again, I am here at any time if you want to reach out to me directly. You can email training at hcpsales.com. You can actually follow up with any of those survey results at any time. I'm actively monitoring that. So if you have any feedback, if you want to just tell me what I'm doing bad, if you want to tell me what I'm doing good, if you have any advice or feedback for specific uh, sales techniques, throw them my way. I'd be glad to, to review them. I'd be glad to talk to you one-on-one -on -one if you have questions. Don't hesitate to reach out. That's all that I have. Thanks for joining us today. If you have any questions, I'm going to stay online for about an extra five or 10 minutes, see if you have any questions pinged in, and then I will sign out. Cheers, everybody. You are doing an amazing job. Have a happy, happy Monday. Take care.